Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 9th, and right now we're looking at the Doppler radar. Hanford, California, check out these thunderstorms moving across the area, courtesy of Tropical Storm Hova. I think I was pronouncing that wrong the last few days, but anyway, Tropical Storm bringing some moisture to the area, some swell to the coastline, and this could even result in a severe threat on a few portions of Nevada, some dry microburst activity. A lot of lightning strikes associated with these storms, and they're not producing much precipitation, but the vegetation is doing pretty well. You know, things aren't too bad across the state of California. The drought, there's not much drought at all. So hopefully that can help uh, keep some of the fire risk at bay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mid-level water vapor loop here. And you can see the lightning strike activity across some of central California, all the way off the coastline, across the valley, the higher terrain, Sierra Nevada, often through Nevada. And there could be multiple rounds of this coming across the area as well. It should be another round coming tomorrow. We'll take a look at that. You can see the tropical storm Hova out here, and it's moving over the colder water, losing its steep convection, but it's spreading its moisture and its swell towards California. This is looking at the tropical storm should be dead by probably tomorrow morning, then will become a depression by tomorrow night, and then eventually drift off to the west with its remnant moisture. Here we go with that uh, cold water as you go northwest from the tropical system breeding ground here or that is off the coast of Mexico, and you can see as you get off into this cooler water, it just cannot sustain hurricanes at that point, but it does take a time for the some of this activity to wind down. That's why it's still a tropical storm as we speak. It's, it's moving over this cooler water. But yeah, it will eventually drift off to the west. And this is if you want to save 10% off a nice affordable home weather station. Record all this crazy weather we get along the west coast. Or go ahead and click on that link down below to save 10%. High surf and dangerous rip currents here. Los Angeles National Weather Service goes all the way through Monday. So heads up, especially the south facing beaches there. So watch out for that. Stay off the rocks and walls. You guys know the drill. Here we go with the red flag warning until noon today. So this is ongoing. We get some fire starts with some of this activity. You can see wet and dry thunderstorms continue through noon today. Lightning in combination with some dry fuels out there. Nothing too extreme, but, you know, we could start some fires. And, yeah, that goes through about noon today. Maybe it'll be extended on a little bit more or possibly brought up again tomorrow as another round may move a little bit further south across California. We'll look at that here in the models, though. Now, this is for this afternoon. You can see where thunderstorms are expected from this point on today across the Sierra Nevada, often through uh, uh, Nevada here as well. And uh, they put this out here um, as of this morning, but there is a risk for some severe storms off through uh, portions of Nevada here. So that has been recently updated. Now, looking at thunderstorms today for Sacramento, generally off across the higher terrain is where you can expect that thunderstorm activity through about 10 p.m. tonight. And excessive heat warning across from Arizona here. Phoenix continues to broil, and you can see some of these desert communities up towards 114 degrees here as well. You guys know the drill, and you're probably pros at beating the heat by now. And of course, this day in SoCal weather history, September 9th, it is not uncommon or completely uncommon. It's a little bit rare, but to get tropical system remnant moisture up over the area as we're getting right now. And you can see 1945, 2012, and 2017. You got some interesting stuff here. Usually the headline maker for Southern California. Now looking at the GFS, we've been watching this for the last several days, and you can see it spreading its moisture, kicking off some of that thunderstorm activity. A lot of this is high based and some of that is dry lightning out there so hopefully it doesn't kick off some of the fires but you can see that moisture that did spread up over the area from hova there and now it's eventually weakening and pushing off to the west it's the 12 z european just running right now so we're only out to hour 71 here we go with total precipitation on the nam 3 km you can see those storms as we continue on in through the afternoon hours going across nevada here as well we scroll out towards Sunday, and the NAM's not showing it too much. Maybe a little bit of activity through tomorrow across some of Southern California, but it's not showing up in the NAM as much. We'll take a look at the HER here in a moment as well. You can kind of see where you're going to be targeted through this afternoon and through this evening across the Sierra Nevada on and through Nevada here. And a few showers. Can't rule out some lightning strikes across Southern California over the next day or so. Here we go with the, the HER 3 cam. This was as of this morning. So the 12Z run, you can see the lightning moving across the area here, and it moves across Nevada. Some stronger storms out there as you go through the afternoon today. But you can see kind of a secondary round approaching Southern California here, and it might kick off some additional storms across from the valley and across the higher terrain of the Sierra Nevada as we go on in through Sunday morning and maybe across some of the higher terrain and maybe even get some lightning strikes off the coastal region there of Southern California as we go through tomorrow morning as well. And then again, you can kind of see that kick off to the east, maybe down across this California-Mexico border here also. Taking a look at that severe threat, you can see where that wind threat is generally just to the east of the California border here. And something interesting here, they do mention this, there are dry microbursts potential with some of these storms out there, high based. So interesting stuff there across Nevada. Wish I could be out there to capture some of that activity. It'd be nice to see a microburst roll across Nevada and kick up some dust. 
That's the storm chasing side of me. Now, taking a look here at the European total swell and direction, you can clearly see where uh, Tropical Storm Hova is here and is spreading that uh, swell back up towards California here. So that's why it kind of favors the south facing beaches there. You can see the swell moving from the south. Nothing too exceptionally crazy out there, but you guys saw what the National Weather Service Los Angeles put out. And that swell probably having impacts all the way up towards some of central California and the Bay Area as well. Now looking at the National Blend of Models, you can see this would be for Sunday here. This is the 13Z run. Actually, if we back up one more, we can see what the temperatures are supposed to be here for today. And you can see a lot of 110s out there across some of the desert areas. Look at Las Vegas, maybe 105, maybe a little bit hotter. Some of the valleys warming up nicely today as well. Tomorrow, a little bit of a cool down here. Going to be getting some clouds over the area, but still plenty hot across a lot of the, the desert areas there you can see las vegas about 101 go to monday something similar there starting to cool off a little bit here as we go through next week and you can see the valley maybe down towards the upper 80s or down towards 90 degrees here as we go through wednesday thursday friday and you know we'll check that out as we go on to the extended but you can see pretty darn right hot across portions of arizona and through the deserts of california here we go with Sacramento, generally a, a kind of above average here, but no blazing heat wave or anything in our near future. Las Vegas, a warm day today, then back down towards normal. Maybe a little bit of bump as we go through the following weekend here coming up. Bakersfield, California, generally above average as you go on in through mid and later September here. And you can see that decline in the average temperatures for this time of year as we start to go towards the end of September. Fall is on its way eventually here. Hawthorne, California, check it out. Some upper 80s, but you can see these temperatures drop back down here as we go through uh, the following week and next week. And we'll talk more about this here in the upcoming days. San Jose, something uh, pretty typical here, right around average. Palm Springs, pretty warm out there, 110, but then dropping down a little bit here over the next few days. Phoenix, Sky Harbor, you can see another couple 110 degree days here coming today and tomorrow. Slight cool down coming as you go through the week coming up. And this is the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook through the 18th. And this is the precipitation outlook here. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a below normal signal here across Nevada and some of Arizona, extreme eastern California as well. Forest fire smoke not doing too bad. You guys know how bad it can get this time of year across some of the Sierra Nevada. So we're doing pretty well there. Still some smoke across Northern California. Those fires continue. It takes a long time to put out some of these forest fires. Looking at the HER 3KM. So we're looking at surface smoke here. And you can see that smoke bubbling around across Northern California here. But for the most part, the region not doing too bad. The only concern is over the next couple of days, of course, we got these high base thunderstorms coming across the area and maybe starting some new fires here. But for the most part, vegetation is well watered out across the area here but there are uh, it, you know it's just typical as you go through summer there's always going to be some dry vegetation to be had out there so we could kick off some fire activity with this lightning here as we go through tomorrow but yeah interesting stuff i mean check out all the lightning strikes had some off the shoreline there across the higher train the coastal regions here moved across the valley sierra nevada it's going to continue as you guys saw through this afternoon and then maybe another round coming for places a little bit further south and even another round across some of the Central Valley here towards the Sierra Nevada tomorrow as well, probably tomorrow morning. So anyway, we'll watch that again tomorrow morning. I'll we'll start off with the Doppler radar again if it's ongoing. But yeah, there it goes, our tropical storm over there. And it did bring us some impact, some surf and some you know, thunderstorm activity, but no big flooding concerns with the system as what was expected. Models did pretty good with this, picking up the shower activity a few days in advance and some of the swell from those waves. But anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.